G'day Scrappers, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic and again inside the terrain world and this episode I thought it'd be cool to work on Luke Skywalker's X-34 land speeder which is in A New Hope. Now this is the speeder that he uses with Obi-Wan Kenobi to travel around the place and uh, he eventually sells to a couple of Jawas in Tatooine. So, uh, sorry Mos Eisley, jeez, it's on Tatooine obviously. I'm a bad, bad Star Wars fan. But before we get into this, I want to share something with you. Um, this is a submission by a bloke, a friend of mine named this guy or TG. He's been a viewer and a supporter of me for quite some time now, and he definitely deserves a shout out for these awesome creations. He has created two choppers. Now, the first one is like a, a single rotor, um, single rotor chopper, it's sort of a two-seater, a bit more like an attack heli, and he's used the thrusters to maneuver around with the blades, and I like the design. The second one is a multi-rotor copter, and it's a little bigger, it's more like a Chinook type style um, chopper. It looks awesome, I thought it'd be cool to share with you guys, and if you have a design you want to share with me, please hit me up on the Twitter, at menace underscore plays, dot, uh, and you can just tweet me. There's no .com in there, I was going to say .com. Just tweet me some cool pictures and, and I'll select a few and I'll throw them in the Scrap Mechanic episodes because I'd love to share your designs. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. There really is, uh, it's on Reddit. Like I recommend if you, you wanted some inspiration, go to Reddit because it's awesome. Uh, and second of all, um, like a lot of people just have YouTube videos that just go nowhere because unfortunately they just don't have the attention. And I'd, I see some of the things and some of them are cool and I'd love you know your permission um, to really share it with my viewer base and, and get your idea out there. I know a lot of people have some cool stuff so please share it with me on the twitter but this episode is going to be about the speeder so let's get back up my hud here what i need to do i'm going to put two driver seats in we're going to use we're going to use the right one <laughs> because i'm from australia and the right hand side is the driver's seat in australia because we drive on the left hand side of the road so we're going to connect up these forward thrusters very quickly there's one two and three they will be driving us in the forward direction. Um, hopefully, I think we might just turn them all the way down, you know, because they will be causing a f few issues. What? That was weird. I'm just bugging out with my controls. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then what I'll need to do is hook up a... We'll use this over... Oh, I got rid of the bearing. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll put some buttons down on the panel here. Put a couple here like this, actually. There goes the driver's seat, you peanut. Alright, something like this. Um, there we go. So I need to hook up these once more uh, to you and to you. You know what I really like about the thrusters is that the thrusters actually keep their setting if you disconnect them. Check it out. That one's... Actually, you know what? That would probably be just fine if we leave that one a little bit more... We'll turn these ones down like that. That one wasn't correct. Cool. This design, I kind of want to make it hover very stable. Now, there's a piece missing here for some reason. Captain Corden, he wrote a comment saying um, on the pod racer, why don't I use downwards thrusters to, to kind of interact with the upwards thrusters so that the pod racer wouldn't just fly off in all sorts of crazy directions. So we're going to do that this time. We're going to use... You, you, and then you can hook up to there. Then the the lift will be generated by these four thrusters here. All right. Now I also need some more something like that. That's cool. Uh, this interesting. What did I do? Oh, I just I'm really bad at this game. You know that. We need to put this in here. Uh, we'll put down a controller sort of in here. That's fine. Put a controller in here for these two doors. Um, we might even put a button on the outside, maybe. Uh, we want this to go clockwise and then you out like this. So these are just doors to get in. So we'll get them go 90 and 90. And a couple of seconds later, we'll get you go back and then back. We will actually disconnect this. Oh, I didn't connect up in the first place or did I? No, I didn't cool uh we'll put like a button there you go there then we should be on the lift which is fine um oh raspberries so what's happened is actually all these blocks here that i wanted to be connected to the um oop don't delete the wrong blocks uh 
in here. I think there's actually a block. Yep. So like this. Wrong way, mate. In here. And then that one as well. Let's just see. Yep, that's all good. Put down one of these. One of these just to break up the uh, the big yellow yuckiness. And we're good to go. So we can jump in. And then doors should shut. Hey, that looks pretty cool from the top. I like the design. It looks sort of like a speeder <laughs> from Star Wars. Uh, let's jump up here. I don't think I can go down anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. So, inside here, we have our little lovely friend, the spring suspension bug. He's going to be how we turn this bad boy. And now all we need to do is kind of figure out the thrust levels. And if we can get this thing stable, uh, we will need to hook up one and then two. All right, we might just start by turning all of these like all the way down because I don't know how much thrust is going to be used per or need required per thruster. Put all that down like that. Uh, and I'd imagine that, okay, that's not gonna work, sweet. We'll just start going up in increments. We'll go up by two this time. Actually, you know what, probably just easier just to do the back two until we got lift. Till we have lift off. Still not enough. Are we gonna have to put more thrusters in, guys? Like surely these this is gonna work. All right, sweet. So let's put this all the way to the second highest. And hopefully the combined lifts of all four of these will be enough to sustain a short hover. Oh, that's the wrong seat. Okay, so too much lift there. We can put this up, put this up, and we'll turn these down because there is obviously. A lot more weight at the back. We've got two driver's seats. We've got three extra thrusters. Too much. Now. Maybe we can just turn these up as well. And then it'll create heaps of lift. And then we'll use the two in the middle. Hmm, we might have to put another one in the, in the middle of these two here. Uh, let's get our thrusters out. Like so. We can put a third one in. The more thrusters you have, the better refined it is. Um, as these, these are not full. So I think we could probably do this and turn all this down. Maybe just one. Uh, let's get you off there. Drop it down. Okay, so now we need to up these just a little bit more. And what we can actually do is, is start using the middle one. Maybe just a little bit more. Or maybe we could put some more weight on the front. Um, that's, that's not too bad. Maybe we can just chalk in some weight. So let's get some of U metal columns because they're very heavy. Um, and we'll just pop like two in here. See how we go. Weight balancing is fun. Still a little bit too much. Let's add a couple more on here. And then we should still have some play with the other thrusters. Still not enough, man. Ooh, yucky. I want to put more at the front. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... There's still a little bit... You know, it's just a little bit. Maybe we could turn these down and delete some of the other stuff, actually. Actually, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Let's just drop this down. Okay, cool. There's too much. All right, I'm going to keep keep messing with this until I got it perfect because this is a very big trial and error thing. All right, one last go. Can we get this on camera? Please. Wrong seat. Too much. Okay, that's right. I'm going to continue messing with this off camera because I don't know how much more you could take of this. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. Okay, I think I've got some even lift distribution going now. Looks very even. Now we need to add the downwards force. How how high are these guys? Yeah, they need to be a lot more. Maybe even have a couple of more. They're a little bit... They're not good enough. Let's get some more. They're like a... Uh, need to be... 
sort of more in the middle. It's very much a a balancing act, isn't it? Um, let's see what I can do here. Maybe we'll just turn them down, turn them up. One more, one more. Or maybe we'll turn, well, let's see actually. So there's too much thrust at the front. Oh, don't go away. <laughs> Nearly flew it away. All right, we're good. So I'll continue again off camera trying to get this balance right, and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, I think I've got it pretty much as best as I can. It's not going to hover with these down thrusters because they're just a little bit off center. Maybe we can move them forward, um, which wouldn't be too hard. What setting were they on? They were second from the highest. We'll just get them in here for now. Uh, put you there, like maybe maybe two blocks. One, two. I'm sorry, windshield. I'm going to have to destroy you. One, two, one, two. Uh, let's move. Well, that's not right in there. What's going on down here? It's a bad spot. How am I meant to work on my vehicular like that? Uh, where were we? We were like sort of in here. I kind of want to get rid of this and put this in here. Let's uh, drop you down so I can actually get up in here. And put one thruster. I don't have to delete these. There. And there. So let's hook those up to number two. Number two. And they were like second from the top, I'm pretty sure. Maybe this will work, guys. Too far forward. Alright, sweet. We've got, to, we've got to hit this nail on the head. Really? Please? Please work? Two. Two. Ah, 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 ah. That, and then that. And I think... Oh, come on! <laughs> yes, it's working. Okay, so I think the thrust at the top is just a little bit too much. Uh, let's get you over here and turn that like down. Maybe we'll get this working like this. And then I think we can hover. We can fly. It's stable. And we can turn. It's kind of sucky, like... Like that, but... You know what? It'll be fine. Come on! Fly, you beast! Fly! <laughs> this is the craziest speeder you've ever seen. <laughs> oh. I stacked it. Let's see if we can get some stable flight out of this, and then we'll call the episode there. I think this has been a success somewhat. So, it's easy actually to create some hover. Look, it does generate a little bit of lift. I think maybe it would be better not using the suspension bug. It kind of creates some weird stuff. Um, I don't know. Unless we create like a super, super, super stable structure, it's not going to do anything. Either way. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you like this little build. I think it looks cool. Looks a little bit like the speeder, as best as I could get in Scrap Mechanic. My name is Menace. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me up on the Twitter there. <laughs> Let's get some hide out of here. Whee! Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.